So guys, a lot of you guys are overwhelmed, you're overworked, and you just don't know how to say no. Well, that's cool. That's what we're going to be discussing in this video. Now, here's the thing. Like, your inability to say no is probably one of the biggest factors that is holding you back in being just like this fucking pimp entrepreneur, pimp person that you want to be. Um, because here's the thing. When you start off small, when you start off not really having much, not having accomplished that much, take every single opportunity, take every single opportunity, embrace every single opportunity. That's what I did at the beginning. Like someone was like, dude, I like be my little bitch work for me. Uh, I'm like, really? Yes. Like I was so excited back in the day, but guys, like, you know, you still need to keep that same sort of like enthusiasm, enthusiasm and excitement. But look at the end of the day, like opportunities start to crop up, you know, and as you start moving up and up and up, new opportunities start to arise. You start to network with fucking cooler people. You start to have like, as you're moving up and up and up, you start to, as I said, you start to network with higher level people. You start to get more business opportunities. You start getting cooler girls in your life. You start getting cooler dudes in your life. Like you, things just move up and you start like you, the, the most simple way to put it is you start be, living a more abundant lifestyle. You know, you start making more money. You start, as I said, having cooler girls or guys, but whatever it is for you around you, um, you start traveling to more places. You start having more opportunities to just like be a pimp networking events and all, all that stuff. My point is opportunities. They're like, they're not cool anymore. When you first start every single opportunity, it's like, you just want to grab onto and you want to run with it. But at a certain point, you've got too many opportunities and it's fucking you up. And that was like, that has been one of my biggest struggles as of late. Um, and one thing that I've kind of gotten really good at this past month is just saying no. Like, and it was something that was holding me back before. Because here's the thing. I used to like, I used to feel bad if I said no, because I'm like, I'm doing this person a disservice. But what I didn't realize is that, look, I could, I could contribute and I can operate at this level. And, you know, like, just give my time to all these people. Or I could go, guys, like, I'm sorry, I, I can't, but I could get to this level. And at this level, I can help tenfold these people. Like, I thought I was doing them a favor by saying yes. And, um, and you know, like, taking that call when I probably shouldn't, like, meeting that person when I probably shouldn't, um, taking that opportunity, like, business opportunity when I probably shouldn't. So one of the, like, for me, it was super hard to start saying no, because I'm, if you guys, if like for the influencer ignite students in here for anyone who's taking coaching from me from anyone who's pretty much ever been around me apart from just watching my youtube videos and probably even just watching my youtube videos, you know i go above and beyond like like that's an obsession of mine like just i want to like in every single situation i want the other person leaving feeling like they owe me something because like i've just given them so much value right like in that in all fairness i do know how to take and receive you know, I'm, I do know how to, I'm, I'm very well versed in the realm of sales and marketing. So like I live an amazing life, you know, I give a shit ton and I receive a shit ton. Uh, it's this beautiful cycle that goes on. But my point is I go above and beyond. And because I go above and beyond, like it was so hard for me just to say no to people. And, um, there's this, what there's this one mindset. Um, and it's actually taken from, uh, Tim Ferriss. It's a podcast that he did with this other, it's just these, uh, this ampu uh, amputee, I forget what his name was. Um, I, I actually don't think he has any limbs. And um, I think he was the first person to climb Mount Kilimanjaro, like without any prosthetic legs, um, without any prosthetics at all. He literally just like, just, he got up there. Anyways, my point is, his frame of reference was, um, you rate things out from one to 10, but you can't say seven. And I found this super interesting and they, they were talking about this in the podcast and here's the thing at it, at it, when you rate something in eight, you're like, wow, this is, yeah, this is pretty cool. Like I'm like, I'm pretty confident in this. When you rate something as six, it's like, okay, it barely passes. Like it is, it, I feel as though like six is like a pity number. Like six is basically you want to say four or five, but you just don't want to say four or five. When you take say seven is almost the comfortable number. And that I, I found that super interesting. So now whenever an uh, opportunity comes to me, I go, okay, on a scale of one to 10, or whenever someone wants to meet me, whenever a business opportunity comes up, whenever a travel opportunity comes up, I go, okay, one to 10, what is this? Without, uh, without saying a seven. If it's an eight, let's go for it. 
If it's a six, uh uh. And it's it's made everything way more black and white for me. And then now I, I go no. I go no. And another important thing in terms of saying no is just it kill it off straight away. Because a lot of you know, a lot of us we like procrastinate, we say like, oh dude, like at some other time, blah blah. Just say no. And you don't owe any explanation. Just go, I'm sorry I can't right now. Or like I'm sorry I I, I can't like I'm sorry my priorities are like lay elsewhere at this point. And the, and the funny thing is like you think people will hate you for it or you think people will like be pissed off. People respect you even more. That's what I found. People are just like, oh, okay, yeah, that's uh, fine. Like, like people just, I've found people respect me even more. And like, yeah, there's just, there's this respect that grows because you are someone who like respects their own time. How are other people going to respect your time if you don't even respect your own time? So as I said, you know, a lot of you, a lot of you guys don't know how to say no to things. I would definitely use this frame of reference where scale it one to 10. What is it? And you're not allowed to use seven because seven is a comfortable number. So in my head, any opportunity, and um, this is something me and my business partner do, if, because me and my business partner, we laugh, like there's always new opportunities coming to us. Like right now, my, the, the main thing that I'm working on is a uh, Furo Systems, a company that used to be a client of mine. Now I'm working on this huge Indiegogo campaign. Um, and I have a percentage in it, a percentage in the total revenue. I'm not allowed to say the percentage, but I'm doing the entire marketing campaign. I'm doing all the content creation, stuff like that. I'll tell you guys more about that. It's actually launching in like two weeks. Um, like minimum, like, like th this is like not even, a, by, by the way, this is like a 30 to like 45 day time frame. the campaign, you know, the, from launch. Like this is like a F, like things burn to the ground. Like we do 100K. We're like, we do like, okay, but we'll accept it is quarter of a million. I'm aiming for half a million dollars in 30 days. If we do really well, it's a million. If we do two, three million, the founders owe me like a blow, like a double blow job. Like, like one takes the left, not one takes the right. Like, anyways, my point is like opportunities come, you know, opportunities come And For example, when that opportunity came to me, I spent a long time weighing it up. Cause like pretty much like, my marketing agency, I'm not growing it right now. It's all on like maintenance. Uh, you know, my personal brand, like I'm not investing as much time as I'd like to. Like, for example, like this is being recorded on a Sunday night. Sundays, I should be chill. It's it's 11 o'clock on a Sunday. I should be chilling on Sundays. Sundays are my days to literally I have it set in my calendar. It's like chill the fuck out uh, every single Sunday. Uh, I'm not very good at it. But my point is like Saturdays are, is when this video should have been done. You know, so like things are like my health's not where it should be right now. You know, like I'm, I'm having like. I'm getting so little sleep and stuff like that. Like I'm, uh, I'm having all these breakouts on my face because like I'm so stressed and like I'm so overworked. But like in all fairness, I fucking love it. Like it's like the campaign model. I love like it literally in two weeks to be able to see all this work come into fruition is, is so amazing. But I'm straying aside from my main point, which is the opportunity came to me and I went, if it's not a fuck yeah, it's a no. Like if it's not a like I 100% want to do this, it's a no. Because here's the thing, one of these times, like, because you're taking all these little things where it's like, oh, that sounds cool. Oh yeah, like, that'd be cool to do. One of these days, it's gonna come to the point where like, your best friend wants to see you for his fucking marriage. Like, your mom needs to be with you. And you have committed to all these things which are like, mechs. Like, like, meh. Yeah, why not? Like, the why nots are fucking you up, are fucking you up from your dream lifestyle. You know, and I know you're sitting on the other side of this and you're maybe at that middle point where like you don't have that many opportunities and you don't have like, and you have no opportunities and you're like, you have a few here and there. Guys, I would say like, I know it seems, I know it seems like it, it untangible right now, but like the opportunities come and they come in like influx. And when they do come, you're like, whoa, you know? So I wouldn't, unless it's a fuck yeah, it's a no. Scale things from zero to 10 and you're not allowed to use seven. If it's a six or under, don't do it. If it's an eight or above, do it. But remember, a six is like, bare, like that's a pity pass. A, an, an, an eight is like, yeah, that's a go ahead. So that's just like a really cool, like kind of model that I've been using the past like few weeks. Um, and the, the if it's not a fuck yeah, it's a no. I've been using that for like two months now. Um, it's just a cool model and it's, I think it's saved my ass. And like, I have a law on my plate now, but like, if I didn't use this model, like I don't even want to know what would be uh what would be the case. So um, yeah, as I said, uh, really cool, exciting, like two three weeks ahead, and then um and then December I'm I'm really just gonna wind down, uh, because last month was uh, influencer ignited. This month is uh, Furo Systems, uh, which are two very very 
lucrative launches that I'll be doing uh, and would have done. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this, uh, this little like model and whatnot. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow.